Now that we've gone over Hive Search, I want to go back over to Galileo. There's a link for Galileo right in Hive Search itself. And I want to go over a couple more databases. In Business and Economics Accounting, there are two databases in here I want to review. One is ABI Inform Complete. The other one is Business Source Complete. In here, let's search for Pacholi. Notice you still have the option for peer reviewed and full text. I'm going to leave those open so we can see what we get if we don't do anything. So we've got 531 results. And you can see the different types of sources we're getting. Scholarly journals, you can tell over here under source type what you've got. Scholarly journals, that's a wire. That's a magazine. That's a newspaper article. And you can see the different types of sources. And trade magazines are in there too. Sorry, trade journal is the one with the gears. In ProQuest, if you hover your mouse over preview, it will give you the abstract and the subject terms. So you have an idea of what you're doing. And here, you can see we can actually put his whole name as a subject term under people. So if I copy that, and I go to modify search, and I choose the advanced search, I can put in that information, tell it I want to search for him as a person. That brought it down to 12 results. So that'll show you how you can narrow it down very easily by playing around with the way it searches for things. Let's do that same search. And let's search everywhere the first time to see what we get. We get 98 results. We can do the same thing. We can search for Pacholi as a subject term. We can also search under people. So let's search under people. And we get 37 results. We can narrow it down to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Now we're down to 28. So that gives you a better idea for how it works. The nice things about these business databases is that they give you some more options than the generic databases. And here you can search for working papers, SWOT analyses. You can browse company information, industry profiles, market research reports. Um, you can click on here. You can browse them. You can search for them. You can go by subject or publisher. And ABI Inform Complete does the same thing. Here's its main page. If you click on Advanced Search, you can see you have many more options. You can search by type, document type, language. You've got the NAICS code field. If you go up here under data and reports, you'll find that same information for annual reports, company profiles, market and industry reports. So use those to your advantage. Now that we've gone over the databases and how to find the research, let's head on back over to the LibGuides and back into the Business Administration Research Guide so that we can go over citation and style. You'll be using APA style. Here's a brief example of a book, an article, and a web page. You'll want to be going into more detail than that for what you're doing because you'll be doing citations for information that you find in databases. When you go into the Purdue Online Writing Lab, you'll see this general information at first. And then you'll find information for in-text citations, how to do a basic in-text citation, Notice it's the name and the date. Page number if you're quoting something from a specific section. So here it's Jones, 1998, page 199. Or if you're doing longer quotations, those you want to set off. Even when you summarize or paraphrase, you still want to cite what you're summarizing. And then information for the reference list, basic rules for how to write a reference list as well as how to cite authors. What if you have one author, two author, three to seven, et cetera. And then the actual articles themselves, how to cite an article and periodical. This is for a print periodical. So if you literally have the physical item in front of you, that's how you would cite that. How to cite books, other print sources, electronic sources is where you would go for how to cite journal articles from databases. Pay attention to this DOI, that's Direct Object Identifier. Um, API loves those. Basically think of them as shortened URLs. What they do is they take you from the article you are looking at to the direct website for that article. It's a great way of getting from here to there. You'll want to go to this article from a database section and follow the instructions here. You'll see they're giving you web URLs, you don't necessarily need those if you have that DOI. 
you only need to do this if you cannot find the DOI up here. So let's go on back in to one of our searches that we were in before. Let's say we want to look at this one. Luca Piccioli, the father of accounting and education. If I scroll down, there's my DOI. So that's the information that you would need. So using this for my example, let's head on back to a Purdue OWL APA. We want an article from a database. So first of all, they're telling us they want our author information and then the date of publication. So back over to my source, I have two authors. Do it in the same order they give you here. This was August 2010 followed by the title of the article and then the title of the journal. The title of the article is Luca Pacioli, the father of accounting education. The title of the journal is accounting education. After that, it'll want a comma, then the volume number. I know it just says volume number, but if you scroll up here, they do want the issue number. You'll see a good example of that right here. Under Journal of Applied Developmental Psychology, you'll see you've got your volume number followed by the issue number in parentheses. Notice how the volume number is in italics. Issue number is in parentheses and romanized. So back over here, we've got volume 19. So that would be italicized, then open parentheses, the number four, close parentheses, and make sure that parenthetical information for the issue is not in italics. After that, it wants, let's scroll on down, the page range and then it will want the DOI, if you've got that DOI number. So back over here, our page range is 423 to 438. You don't need to do that P, just this section right there. And then it wants the DOI. And you can just copy and paste that DOI in there. For formatting the DOI, you can do it one of two ways. You can type DOI colon and then copy paste, which is what most people do, that's easier. Or you can type HTTP colon backslash backslash dxdoi.org and then put in the rest of the information. If you have any questions about how to do the per any of the citations, feel free to take advantage of the various ways to get in touch with librarians. We're happy to help you with citations. That's one of the things we do over here. I think I've gone over everything you would need for your accounting research. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. To get in touch with any of the librarians, just click on the About Us section, Staff Directory, and you can contact any of us this way. We've got our emails and phone numbers here. And of course, I've already talked about using our chat box. So feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.